Okay, now it's time for my month of y'all day three. Um, and the first of our coming is Film Like a Yacht, written by Jim Bernstein. Go. You probably remember back then, I believe it was after that from Athlete that came back on, I'm getting better at that, um, where we basically blew all their budget on a yacht in a, in a quick gag. Now we get to keep that yacht, and we even get, yeah, again, we can get the, the thing we spent our budget on. And they go on that yacht for a little trip, a free out tour, if you will. They don't make that joke, they really should have. But, and of course, we had to get found in Kurt Island, and we had to figure out how to get off. So, there's some easy comparisons you can make to the Phoenix Burbank, which I've been doing line. And then, of course, there are some different things. Well, I mean, we also have a different plot to deal with, and also, to have the, um, and also the Beefer Bounty Perry thing, and stuff like that. Like, look up, go to Big Only. There's a couple I kind of want to get to that. <laughs> but, um, um, okay. It doesn't take a little, it doesn't take too long to get to the island, but I do feel like we're a tiny bit too much kind of with the yacht and the queen on the app, but, you know, you know, it's not quite a lot about them combining necessarily, but I don't think that's quite big of a deal. Um, after I, how I compare to things, but go, uh, again, I think, well, I should do a kind of plot like, go by to the Queen again, and I got, you know, go, but what kind, but it's coming here, but I did that plot line. Um, but yeah, for the look up, I really like this, it's another one that Dark Truck where it was just really funny, I mean, took a lot of really great jokes. For one thing, Bradley kind of quarterback, I mean, he never left, but, Hurry and catch him a rubble in the bottom time around. Or whatever. He told him to do an awful lot. But he get a running gag. Where he basically has fallen in love with that machine. Then Carla. And it's pretty great. We do OTP. We've got for a to have one of the stupid. They have a fine gag. Kind of like a And they've got kind of fine gag. I like a big boat. And I cannot lie. <laughs> I have to take a picture when I go. On Twitter, you'll see that and making high quality. Um, go so, again, Bradley at least get some line and a running gag. Get that, she doesn't get so much of a payoff. Go, so, that's something. And to hit a frick line and warning people on Murphy Law, you know, with Murphy, punk boat. Apparently, Murphy's great grandfather apparently had the Eck of Murphy, but got locked. And they find it when they get to England, but you know. Again, um, go. The big, the big running, it was a lot of just really funny joke, you know, you have, um, probably number one with two songs, really two background songs, I probably not gonna remember. Uh, one of which, well, for the gag of DLT, that picking lifted from the family vacation episode, like, it's kind of joke, but, but here we kind of roll for with it, go. What's my funny joke, um, Gamut and Carla, um, the big joke is coming from that thing. Uh, and of course, the teacher going rogue. Like, basically, when they get there and they run around, they go rogue and create their own weird culture that is just hilarious. Like, when you, when you first cut to them, they just got ready to go to the deep. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah. Those are comparing them for rock and gum void fetish, as I mentioned, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think we can go to you to bring it up, but. You go rogue, I guess you forget about your lover. Um, <laughs> but Bradley, I forget him. OTP. I should tweet that. I'm gonna tweet that, but when I call that, um, that picture, I'm like, okay, I gotta do, do that instead. But, um, yeah, I've got to a lot about the joke. And not the most related one I've done compared to a couple of other so far in the bomb, which which is why a typical corner plot we came before, so it's not like we're expecting out of the story. And again, they make up for a lot of the jokes they do. And then you can have a two big one I mentioned are really funny. I don't know what about the show, but I but it's funny. It's funny. I don't know how. Again, it's like. Yeah, I got some more kind of humor with each episode, but they're just, just something. And I like how it goes up feature like the uh, change of location. I mean, we had a kind of. Couple times, but look when we get to be on an island, go, so, you know, so you know, I, I get the one come do kind of make up for the island, more mm -hmm. do more things while they're to get around, make a joke while teachers get to go rogue, you know.
No, I guess it's not a big a deal. So, yeah, um, this is another one where I feel like, again, like Star Trek 1 where I feel like kind of got taken over the fact that I found it really funny, but I'll kind of like, we'll throw you out with that like that. This one again, quite that three element push, because it, it got my being determined to down get thing off it, and he does that, but nothing that was even from heartwarming or even coming to quite interesting. It's all about joke and even a situation, and I feel the part of they laugh really hard, they <laughs> laugh pretty hard again, especially when the teacher and then they go rogue. Um, so Draco appearing, he don't think he went rogue, but he good joke. Um, <laughs> don't worry, you put your neck. <laughs> uh, again, uh, my official theory made not a vampire, and he just can kind of like one, but he will become one at some point. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Nah. Uh, it'd be funny if that happened, you know, which is not one, but I'll become one anyway. But, anyway, um, so, being like much of, it can pretty simple up and go, which is kind of really funny joke. Um, not much of a point, no passion, no boy, no fitting for a brother, no, speaking of, actually no, I'll talk about that when we get to it, when we get to a corresponding episode. Um, uh, so don't worry, I got we if you, you know, Go like I was saying, go and tweet it at me. Go, I would, I, I could, I had to keep it. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you in a second for V next episode. Okay, now I am back for Backward to School Night, written by Joshua Pier Pierret. I don't, don't pronounce that. Anyway, go, we can go to Back to School Night with a teacher and the parents and whatnot. And basically, you can kind of sort of kind of hang out, go around the camp area, and Becky. Come and have crazy thing thing that became from around your age and that and a comprised product hit Dakota and the teacher and turning him into three year old that everyone else has to deal with. Yeah, another episode that's one of the things for plot and this case Agent Doof for some plot which thinks we're become baby. So <laughs> I know someone who does not care for that one, so they probably won't like this one either. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> um but after me, I like that one, and I like this one too. The another case where I'll get a bunch of the A episode, which is weird, but the, the, I don't have a particular problem with this one, well, one minor one, but the thing is that the, the, the Introduce episode, they, they have the thing that kind of go all over Tank Kennedy while I get that hard, and of course, but at the end, they kind of lampshade the obvious moral we're doing. Here, they kind of play it straight. Like, they have the kid and kind of go on for a little bit about what it'd be like if we won't. And yada yada, so you okay, you know what's gonna happen. But at the end, they go, Well, I guess we were wrong. You know, pull up, play straight away. Not that so effective, and it's not I mean, but like, think for Blanche Shade, it doesn't play it pretty straight. So at the okay, good. I got interrupted a bit, but anyway, um, but you know, but you know, that's not too big of a deal. It's just kind of like making it go. Kind of know what kind of happens with this one, but overall, I get pretty fun. Again, again, a couple people find a podcast going here or words. Um, I don't think I'm going to use here slightly, but I feel like we'll make up for it with some funny joke and go to the one and some good, crazy antics that happen with the baby. And again, we get another you know, song in the back, background, the cup of code, which I started to blend together. The one they did in After My Dream was pretty cool. I don't know if you ever like that one. Please don't bring it in. Tell that I like. But it's kind of like the one that's one like, eh, it's okay. But, um, to give us a rather big number, like, we one and again, other one to get to my dream. Because that one was great. Um, um, well, um, a good baby to cut the best. Um, he, he has to give a couple feet moments and he got to go. Funny. He also go from a higher thing of mine to cut to Nico Um and other funny thing, you know. I get took a joke I feel like Baby Code get going back to him, but bring off go um rocking and cup code and they finally bring her deck fetish back. Yeah, like they never up cook with her in it, they haven't brought it up, but here they do. Um, <laughs> even when she knows baby to go to deck and go, Mine mm-hmm. my deck, you know. Which again to get them started young, I guess. Which is like my shout connection to it. Hmm, and my, uh, like, just a hypothesis. <laughs> but, yeah, it, um, that's not a really good joke. I'm gonna 
they're gonna get a point like a bit where but the machine and got pin assaulted and then finally took a real guy and like I'm alive and then they don't bring it up again they come back to him a fat go random and hilarious like they go come back to him they finally if he did appear in the background after it but they finally that he he's just kind of there uh, great they took a dope from slightly like this but then they're gonna go to the funny one a lot lot be Dakota and a lot of funny antics that happen and, um, like a talk in the world where she's kind of pretty prevalent in the story, I think we yeah, could yeah, do it better. Um, in terms of how both of me compared to I think World Cup Park, well, when it comes to making a doof, again, I think the main part of that from Cup Black, so I can't compare, but I feel like this one found a little on par, and I feel like the, I thought on par, I think this one might be, yeah, that might be even funnier than that part in Nathan Doof, but. They all could have great to be in your baby. He was thinking of my favorite poem, but yeah, I think it's fun. <laughs> go, 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 Gilly. The poem is one in, in comparison to kind of boring. Um, mm. but, um, they didn't take our mind up to less than here compared to me, but then he put up below. I compared it to me to come like, you know what? Again, I feel like that gets the advantage because that's the same thing as one part in the plot. So, but, but go make your comparison. In comic, I think comic is a little better, and I can't that the other plot is done in a more interesting and funny way compared to Quick. Which, again, it's the Doof Shirk and the Perry. That stuff, I gotta carry that one as much as, you know. But, um, but, uh, but they can't give a monkey a shower. I think not. And you're at 10. Nor can have cop. <laughs> so, yeah, back with the point. Um, no, even the camera cameras are there, and we get the game, that Milo again, who remember him, um, um, you know, nothing too plot relevant, but, um, it's so funny, it's all got some good joke, and it does look fine, I never, it never bothered me, you know, go on, and wherever it be, and I've got the Leon Stitch episode, where he the baby, and, um, part of that episode, that dug it, and a few other, but I put a lot of but it never, it never bothered me, as long as it's funny, I am going to go overboard with it, and I don't think the cup go nor do do really went overboard with it, at least this one. But again, there's two folks, a couple of, this was, um, the only plot, essentially. I will imagine split up between the main character again and Dakota. So, yeah, a fun little episode. I think VA will go get it better, but I was going to go and pretty great, but I thought that would be scary, but it's going to every episode at least more like Gupster. I don't know why. By the way, um, I correct me if wrong, I believe Miss Rocky, a cable deck match. We're gonna get the Game Boy Track, got Beth on Rick and Morty, which, go get that fan out right there. Beth fucking a deck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am, I am, uh, have one week Rick and Morty, I can kind of fitting. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, Anyway, there is our two episodes. It's not like yeah, pretty pretty dang funny to make up for the Kiwi Island plot. And this one had a total plot, but it's done in a classic way, but Gokko got some good jokes in there, especially with Baby to go to go. Another fun pairing. You can have like, oh, it can like, with the first pairing, I liked the up a better. With the yesterday pairing, I liked the be up a little better. The fight might complain about the title. I feel like that's a little bit funnier than the other one. And this one, I've already up a code go. Well, that time will be up to be better. We don't know. But let's take a look at what we have tomorrow. Um, Tomorrow in World of Fount Milo slash The Race. Oh boy, that first one. Alright, that sounds. That kind of like it should be interesting. So, I shall see you tomorrow for our little adventure. Oh, good, goodbye.